Based off the force and flashiness they can throw it down with, this video ranks the top 10 NBA dunkers in 2020. By rising up over anyone at any time, a player can completely swing the momentum of a game. Here's a countdown of the players that can intimidate their opponents the most by jamming it home with either supreme style or reckless abandon. Number 10, Ja Morant. The undisputed rookie of the year has a chance to be an all-star in this league for many years to come. Morant's followed the path of Derrick Rose and Russell Westbrook, who are unquestionably the two greatest dunking point guards of all time. By rising up and shocking defenders with small forward-like hops, the undersized at 6'1", Ja Morant threw down 49 dunks in his rookie season, and other than Ben Simmons, that 2019-20 dunk total was the highest from a point guard in the entire NBA. Morant led a team projected to be dead last in their conference into the play-in tournament, where they came up two wins short of reaching the playoffs. But in terms of his dunking, if the ball went through on this play, it may have been one of the greatest jams of all time. Number 9, DeMar DeRozan. One of the better athletes of this generation, the now 31-year-old may be past his dunking prime, but Debo can still put an entire crowd in awe anytime he wants. Exactly. He knew how much time he had. Great use of the dribble. Oh, 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 come on. I was actually in attendance for this game in late January of this year. You can see me here, actually, after Serge Ibaka hit a clutch three down the stretch. But this was the game where DeRozan ended Boucher. And even though I was 12 rows up on the other side of the court, that didn't stop me from getting out of my seat and cheering in appreciation for this dunk. Number eight, Ben Simmons. In his first three NBA seasons, maybe he hasn't improved his jumper at all. In fact, he literally can't throw a fish in the ocean. But making up for his horror awful shooting mechanics. No, you know what that is? That's horror awful. That's horrible and awful mixed together. Horror awful. Ever since he was 2016's number one draft pick, Simmons has proved to be one of the most explosive slashers in the NBA. Given he's six foot ten with a seven foot reach, Ben's combination of ball handling skills, speed, and running slash standing long jump give him the ability to make poster dunks on a nightly basis. Simmons would have been higher than the 8th best dunker, but this is a ranking based off what these players did this year, and Ben missed all of the Sixer playoffs and an excessive amount of time throughout the regular season with injury. This man's got to stay on the floor. Number 7, Jalen Brown. One half of debatably the best young duo in the world in Jalen Brown is nothing less than a poster artist. The 6'8 Celtics wing is a locomotive when he gathers speed and is attached to the rim, and that momentum leads to some eye-opening throwdowns. Smart running to his right. Gives it right back and Brown oh, throws it down! Oh. Woo. It's pretty scary to consider that JB still yet to reach his athletic prime, and given he's still 24 years old, you never know how good this man could develop into, especially with Boston's impressive player development staff. Number 6, Donovan Mitchell. The Spiders coming out party in the 2020 postseason was highlighted by some blistering attacks into the lane, followed by overpowering flushes. Mitchell won the dunk contest in 2018, but in terms of in-game, he's also had some iconic dunking. Ever since he entered the league after being stolen as the 13th pick in 2017's draft, Donovan's had a theme of throwing down tomahawk dunks, but nothing could have prepared us for what we saw in these recent playoffs. 28 after that last socket. Mitchell! Nasty! Posterizing Michael Porter Jr., D. Mitch threw down one of the best jams of this year. Overall, Donovan's ruthless attacking of the paint combined with his unbelievable bunnies make for some dunks that'll be replayed in the highlight sessions for centuries to come. Number 5, Aaron Gordon slash Derek Jones Jr. Just like the dunk contest that took place between these two earlier this year, the leaping and finishing ability of Gordon and Jones Jr. are dead even. After Aaron Gordon converted this masterpiece in this year's dunk contest, Dwayne Wade produced one of the NBA memes of 2020 when he gave it a 9 out of 10 when everyone else watching on the planet knew it was a 10. This year's dunk contest should have been a tie, but instead the former Heat legend Wade made current Miami Heat small forward Derrick Jones Jr. the 2020 slam dunk champion. Regardless of your stance on the outcome, we have to give respect to Aaron and Derek, of course, for bringing the flashiness back to this dunk contest, but just because these two showed out in a contest, that doesn't mean they can't throw it down in-game over defenders. Gordon ranked 21st in dunks with 88 in 2019-20, and Jones ranked 28th in dunks with 84. Number 4, Zion Williamson. With the aerodynamics of a man half his weight, 
the 285-pound freight train Zion Williamson is truly one of a kind. The fact that this mammoth of a man has the springiness that he does is truly something special. Regardless of how Williamson's body holds up in the long term because of the hops that he shows off on the court, whether it's off a putback, lob, or attack off the dribble, you have to savor and appreciate the ferociousness this man's throwing it down with, as even though he missed 40 games due to injury, he led all rookies with 58 dunks in 2019-20. Number 3, Zach Levine slash Russell Westbrook. A combination of reckless abandon and style and flashiness from these two guards is what makes their dunking ability generationally great. Zach Levine's debatably the most entertaining jam artist in the NBA. His long strides and seamless ability to float in midair make his dunks, whether on the fast break or in the half court, absolute eye candy. From tomahawks to double clutch two-handed jams to lobs, Zach has an array of finishes that he utilizes and is truly one of the best dunkers of this era. You may know him as the slam dunk contest champion from 2015, don't be surprised if he wins another one of those contests, but don't get it twisted, Levine's a sensational in-game dunker as well. In 2019-20, he threw down a guard leading 88 dunks, then there's the Brody Russell Westbrook, who may not have the same type of jumping ability like in his OKC days, but his speed and flashiness still make him one of the NBA's most pristine dunkers. Number 2, Giannis Adetokounmpo. Giannis finished right behind Rudy Gobert to post the second most amount of dunks in the entire NBA with 197. Given that Adetokounmpo's got a 7'3 wingspan, his ability to swoop through the lane with brilliant footwork and a tight handle along with that practically allows him to throw it down whenever he wants. I haven't seen anyone who's been able to flush it down at will with the type of ferocity that Giannis does since the four-time NBA champion Shaquille O'Neal graced the court. That's how overpowering and freaky the 25-year-old Greek is making these dunks look. Even with his team getting eliminated in five games in the second round, Giannis was still third, three spots ahead of LeBron James for the most dunks in the playoffs. Unbelievable. Honorable mentions to Andrew Wiggins. He's the main honorable mention. He was most highly considered for this list, but I'm also going to give mentions to John Collins, Alex Caruso, Anthony Davis, and Rudy Gobert. Let me know if I miss anybody in the comments section below. Number one, LeBron James. In its evaluation, this ranking favors the quality of dunks as opposed to a high quantity of them. Considering that, King James easily tops the Greek freak as 2020's top dunker. Defying father time, the speed and explosiveness LeBron somehow still has at age 36 is nothing less than mind-blowing. The fact that after 17 seasons, 9 finals appearances in the last 10 years, he's still the number one dunker? I'd say by far in the NBA, is something every sports fan should appreciate. The way this man takes care of his body is second to none, as he spends a million and a half dollars annually making sure he's in the best physical shape possible. So knowing he spends over a mil on everything from recovery machines to top-notch dieting, Maybe the all-time great posters we're still seeing King James make as he gets ready for his 18th season starting December 22nd shouldn't surprise us too much. Regardless, what LeBron's doing to prolong his prime is extremely inspirational to stars in any sport who are either in their 40s or approaching them. The Community Speak shoutout goes to Miguel, who says his favorite shooter to watch is JJ Redick. The Community Speak standings reset in 2020. The top five get rewards, so get your takes in to get a shot at the best giveaways possible. The question for next video shoutout is, who's your favorite dunker to watch on this list? Stay updated on every video I post by following me on Instagram at dflowhoops. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a thumbs up and share this video if you enjoyed. This was dflow, and I'll see you next video.